Okay, today we're going to start off with a little bit of vocabulary. Some of it you may have heard before, some of it you may not have. So we're going to talk about regular polygons. And I want you to notice that a regular polygon can always be inscribed in a circle because each of these are spaced equally apart. It fits very nicely into a circle. And there's something called an apothem. So PQ, that's basically the distance from the center to the center of one of the sides. And you can see it would make a right angle since it's a dis the closest distance to that side. And then we still have a radius, which we know what that is, the radius PN right here. But this time, basically I want you to think about two of those radii. So these two highlighted in blue, take off the other. And there's something called the central angle of a regular polygon. It's basically that angle that's formed by those two radii drawn to consecutive vertices of the polygon. And the measure of that central angle is always 360 divided by the number of sides, which makes sense when you look at it because imagine each of these sides would have one of those triangles and the whole thing around the whole circle is 360 degrees. So you simply divide by the number of sides. So this time we're looking for each angle measure. So AFB, AFB, let's see. So that is one of those central angles. So we're simply going to count the number of sides. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll say, take your 360 and divide it equally among all the sides. And we get 72 degrees. And so that's the angle right here, 72 degrees. And the measure of angle AFG, okay, so AFG is half of that, right? Because there's two angles that are the same right here. So we're basically going to divide the answer that we just got by 2 to get 36 degrees. All right, let's look at this next part. It says find the area of any regular angon by dividing it into congruent triangles. So notice if we were to divide this into triangles, and they're all the same because this is a regular polygon, and I want you to think about the apothem right here, which has a right angle, and then this here we'll label as the side length. So basically we have the base times the height of the triangle right there, and remember it's one half times base times height. However, instead of talk, say, saying it's the height, we're going to call it A for apothem. So we've got 1 half times S times A. And then how many triangles do we have? So in this case, we have 6. However, to keep it, um, to keep it generic or to make it a formula, we're going to call it N. So N equals the number of triangle. Number of, well, the number of sides would be the number of triangles. So number of triangles equals n. Okay, and then let's simplify this. Oh, I think I forgot to write it down. So that would simplify. Oh, actually one thing I wanted to point out. So if you rearrange the order, I don't know if this would help you remember it or not, it could be A N S. So it's almost like one half times the answer. And then another form of that would be one half A times perimeter. So if you happen to have the total perimeter, you could use that instead of having the length of each side and multiplying by the number of sides. Okay, so the area of a regular polygon, we're going to say A equals one half A times perimeter. So apothem times perimeter, or A equals one half times A N S. Apothem times the number of sides times the length of each side. Okay, let's find the area of this regular polygon. Let's identify our parts. So S equals 13.1, N is one, two, three, oops, let's shift it a little, four, five. And then A equals, A is given to us, luckily, makes it a little easier, A is 9. 
Now we're going to say a equals, just remember a equals one half times the answer. I usually prefer just to write it as divided by two instead of multiplying by one half. So I'm going to say a is nine, n is five, s is 13.1, divided by two, which is the same as multiplying by one half. Multiply your top together to get 589.5, divide by two to get 200, 94.75. And once again, we don't have our units, but I'm going to put units squared. Alright, that is it for today.